Hi, I'm Doug Wilson with WJ Andriots in Shelbyville, Kentucky. We're bringing you different projects to look at that are typical of many remodel or new construction projects. This particular job is a remodel on a basement that was flooded. The drywall was replaced, some walls have been patched, and we're going to look at the equipment needed to take step two, which is when the painting and finishing stage begins. So many times there's a conflict between the painters and the drywall guys as far as who's going to clean up the mess, who's going to prevent the mess, and I believe that it really needs to come to the homeowner saying, um, we do not want any drywall dust in our house. And so the only way you can truly do that is to use dust-free sanding equipment. Now we have that equipment available for rent at WJ Andreas in Shelbyville, Kentucky. The system simply consists of a, a shop back. Now this is six and a half horse back, so it can run a very long hose. It's equipped with a dust collection bag and a HEPA high efficiency particulate uh, filter. And so that will not recirculate the dust that is captured from the sander. We also have a rigid air cleaner. Now these are readily available again. We have this for rent. But you can make your own to simply take a square box fan and put a furnace filter on one side of it and run that at low speed, maybe two or three of those fans, and you have a, a basically a homegrown air cleaner. Um, we also have a vortex type uh, floor drying fan. And what we do with this is we create negative air. Um, if you're not going to use dust free sanding equipment, you need to create a negative air situation where the air is being pulled out of the space. So this was an exhaust fan that pulled the air out of the space when the sanding was happening. So we did not have dust migrating into the living spaces that are upstairs. Now this area was plasticed off and sealed. The air returns were sealed and covered and they actually went to a higher level. They didn't even run the uh, fans and air conditioning during the sanding process. So that's a great tip. So we're going to look at a few of the tools that can help you be dust free. We're going to look at some tools you need if you've had a job that was not dust free and we need to get rid of all this dust even on the surfaces prior to painting and priming. And again, a common problem is drywall dust being painted over because everybody's rushing the job. Uh, it just doesn't take that much longer. In this particular case, all the walls and ceilings were vacuumed and they're going to be wiped with a microfiber uh, mop to prepare it for the application of our Benjamin Moore Fresh Start Primer.